about 10 years ago, really, I gathered up a, 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 a bunch of short plays that I had written over the, the previous 10 years and just did a sort of evening, evening of short plays. And I wrote a sort of starting play uh, named Booty Candy. And so about five years after that, I get a call from uh, Howard Shawitz at uh, Willie Mammoth in DC. And he said, you know, there's some of those characters in some of those short plays that might be interesting to revisit and maybe find a through line. And so I took about three or four of the short pieces from before, and I took some of those characters and I rewrote those things. And then I created a whole other world outside of it. It is autobiographical in its sort of um, uh, uh, infancy. So in its sort of spark of the imagination, they come from sort of like uh, real uh, encounters that I've had with people. But then, you know, of course, it's completely outrageous. Like no one wants to actually see my life on stage. But um, if you sort of twist it and pull it and go to the extreme of the experience, uh, that might be fun. And so that's, you know, that's part of the fun of being in theaters that you can actually create something that is theatrical. This is different because, you know, it was never supposed to be a play. The characters remind me of real events. Usually uh, you write a play and you're done with it and you move forward. But I've sort of been able to revisit this in, in DC and Philly and now New York. And so it's just a different uh, task now to go back at a play that you've already done. Almost like Shakespeare in a way that, you know, when you do another Hamlet or you do another Midsummer or, or whatever, you try and find another way into the play. New York audiences are very different and much more savvy, you know, and uh, expect more and have seen it all. There's, a, there's different elements now. Uh, there's a, uh, four of the actors have done the play, but none of them have done the play all together before. And then we have one new actor who hasn't done the play at all. So it's a different energies that are coming in and out of the play, which is sort of exciting, actually. Most of everything that has been in a play is for the last 15 years, uh, I, I've seen. Um, and uh, and I was uh, going to play when they weren't even in this building. And so it is uh, uh, an humbling, but also almost a homecoming in a way, it, to be a sort of allowed into the, uh, and onto the stages of Playwrights Horizons after seeing such dynamic and amazing work. From the moment we did it in DC, um, some of the cast members were thinking it would be great in New York. Now it feels almost like this was where we were supposed to be. It, it feels like it should be on 42nd Street, it should be at Playwrights Horizons. 